Sadhguru, in many of your books you labeled us as seekers, but to me some questions seem completely unanswerable. You talk about past life and future lives. No, no, I never spoke about future life, do not accuse me of that <laughs> Never I have spoken about future life no, because past years but past never future. future. Yeah, I'm just giving that as an example, I say even past lives, but to me certain questions seem completely unanswerable unless you, s you said for example in one of your satsangs that you know, I mean uh, so, are we supposed to I just accept that no. the knowledge is available when there it is, seems to me that it is not available to us? Um. No, you don't have to accept anything. Why should you accept? There is no need. So, uh, <coughs> because right now your situation is like this, Let's say you were imprisoned for ten years. You were in a cell, always locked up. One day, somebody simply quietly came, opened the lock and they went away. But you won't get up and move out because you want a neon sign, this way to freedom. <laughs> Otherwise you won't move. <laughs> when you are like that, we have to say vulgar things like I know. Otherwise you won't move. So, the vulgarity of me sitting up and saying, I know, is simply because somebody is sitting in a satsang and he can't take his hand off his cell phone. So, nothing wrong with the cell phone. Is there something wrong with the cell phone? This was made for our convenience, isn't it? A gadget is made for our convenience, it's very convenient or no? Yeah. It is. So every convenience that we create is becoming a nuisance and a bondage in our lives because in your life you're constantly seeking only bondage, please understand this. You're not seeking liberation. Wherever you go, you want to bond with something, isn't it? If you go on bond, 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 you will become bondage as you age. <laughs> what was a bond when you were young? Has it not become bondage as you age? <laughs> All the time you are trying to bind yourself to something. So, when you are doing that, how will you know freedom? When you are investing in bondage, where is the possibility of knowing what is liberation? Please see, are you not always investing in how to bind yourself to something? You are. So this needs to change for you to understand. You don't… I think whenever I spoke about anything which is not yet in your experience, I always said, don't believe this nonsense. Just understand this much. Do I look like somebody who will sit in front of a crowd of people and make a fool of himself? Do I look like that? No. So if somebody is saying something so ridiculous or absurd or unbelievable for you, you must say this, okay, he's talking all this rubbish, let me see, I want to know what this is all about. If you say that much, that's all we want. If you say, I want to know whether this is true or not, that's good enough. You don't have to say, oh, what he's saying is true, then you will miss it. If you believe me, you will miss it. If you disbelieve me, you will miss it. If you say, I want to know this, only then you will know it, isn't it? You don't have to know what I know, you have to know what is true. So. Seeking will not come to you because you're suspicious about something. Seeking will come to you only when you realize you do not know. If you see, I do not know, seeking is natural for human intelligence, isn't it? You cannot help it. <laughs>